Good morning and welcome to Miss Rody. And today I'll be showing you how to add an image or images to a shot glass. And this is just the second part of a video that I did for Valentine's Day, showing you how to create a elegant shot glass, just changing the text. So today we're going to be changing the text and adding a graphic or two. So first thing you want to do is personalize this template. So we we would change the name. I chose Elizabeth. Click to customize further. Okay, so here's the text and you can move the text wherever you want it. You can change the color to any of these basic colors or custom color picker where you have a rainbow of colors to choose from. You can also increase or decrease the size. You can rotate, flip, And, you know, other things like letter spacing, line spacing, curvature. Okay, so that's, uh, you can also change the type of font. We have many different types. If the font ends up being larger than your previous font, you just have to adjust it by dragging the text box and using the scale to increase and decrease. And you can align by using the red lines that will appear to show you when it's perfectly centered. Or if that's difficult, you just go to align. You just click on align layers to the center on each side. So on the left, you click the middle, and on the right, you do the same thing. Okay, so if you want to add, let's say, an element, that's, those are shapes. You just use the shapes, and you can add text box I mean um, you know different shapes where you can change the colors in the border thickness right here you can change the color to the border also and that's if you're trying to you know, design something creative. You always have the preview where you can preview things. But I'm going to remove this. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. You can also add icons. So let's add something dealing with love. Okay, so these hearts are nice. And if you don't want them to be black, let's say you want them to be the exact same color as Elizabeth's name. So what we, what you would do, you will you would click on the image and color in this dropper too. It looks like an eyedropper and just lift the purple from the from the letters so let's 
do that. Okay, and that looks cute. Well, let's say you want to add a photo. So you go to my files and you have, you can upload images from your device, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, or from your phone. Or you can open full image browser if you already have photos uploaded. So I already have photos uploaded. So I'll just pick this basic photo of myself. Okay, I'm just going to crop. Okay, I'll just crop it to show my face. Okay, so let's say I'm just, you know, um, customizing it to fit me, to fit what I want. Okay, so let's say I want to add a border to this photo. I'm gonna go to elements and choose the square. And for fill, I will I would click on the transparent fill. And I want my border color to be the same color as the name. So I need to click on border. And you can choose how thick or thin you want your border border to look. Okay, and you can drag it to resize. I'm just I just centered it, so I just clicked on the picture to make sure it was aligned in the middle. And I also clicked on the rectangle to make sure it was aligned in the, in the middle, in the middle. Okay, so I will preview it. Okay, so let's say I want to make my name the same color as my shirt. So I just clicked on my name and, or the name, this isn't my name, but I clicked on the name. And the add dropper to in the shirt. Okay, so you're done. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.